This video is sponsored by YouTube. Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and right here I have the new Nintendo 2DS XL. This is the Pokeball edition. I've been waiting to get my hands on it all week. You can see that it actually looks like a Pokeball, and it even has a functional button that you could press. I can't wait to press the button. So I'm going to unbox this for you all and also compare it look-wise to my other Nintendo systems. Mostly here, I really just couldn't help myself. I am a huge sucker for red systems, and I love Pokemon, so let's go ahead and check it out. Now before we get to unboxing the goodies, I'd like to thank YouTube so much for sponsoring this video, and I'd like to tell you about their new channel that they are launching that's called Holidays Unboxed. It will playlist the latest and greatest unboxing videos by different YouTube creators, and encourage fans to check out cool new products that are launching this holiday season. So be sure to check out their channel at youtube.com slash unbox to see more unboxing videos like mine. And I will also put a link in the description below. Go check them out and let's resume. So this is a very cute box. And you can see that Pikachu is all over it. Pikachu, 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 Pikachu. But you can see that this box is quite small. Here we have the 3DS XL, new 3DS XL. And you can see that this pretty much fits in the size of the box. Although obviously the box is thicker. And if you can tell here, I don't like Pokemon at all. I've even got my Pokeball themed Switch. So this is a very simple to open box. There's no seal or anything. It just has this tab. Ugh. I believe in this box, they include the charger. Ah, look, Pikachu. So. Here, got the charger, set that aside. Very carefully, let's pull out the system so it doesn't topple onto the table. And what are we met with? Very first thing, the AR cards. Now, come on now, Nintendo. This unit can't even do 3D anymore. What is the point? So we've got some quick start instructions and also the device itself. Now, I am extremely excited for this. And do it the right way. There it is. Oh my goodness. That is the perfect red and immediately this is nice and a matte finish here. Like a matte finish plastic with a glossy black frame. And there is this button. Go away. Shoo shoo. It's slightly clicky. It's satisfying. Now, of course, this doesn't do anything. This isn't to turn on the system or anything. It is just a feature. So, turning it over, you can see we've got those stereoscopic cameras on the back. Now, should you be inclined to use those AR cards that I already lost, <laughs> you can take photos with the 2DS XL, but you're going to have to view them on something like the 3DS XL. Anyway, let's just go ahead and open this. And look at that. It is red on the inside. And that looks pretty incredible, actually. It's like the perfect happy red. It's not a dark or brooding red. That's just really, really nice. So starting here at the bottom, you can see we've got this little black spot. This is for your headphone jack and also the teeny tiny stylus, which I have the perfect sized hands for. I think that's a nice little accent. You've got an accented power button. We've also got the slot right here, which houses your SD card and also the game card slot. So now the SD card is much easier to access than it was before. So I really appreciate this change in design and people who have bully type friends or siblings who like to pop out the cartridge as you're playing your game as a practical joke, that's not a worry anymore. We've got the speakers right here, various indicators. On the left-hand side is your volume switch. I also really like that this has a black accent to it. And check out the buttons on the back. That's neat. Again, with the black accents. This is the prettiest system I think that Nintendo has released so far. And I have uh, just a couple of them. Let's grab the 2DS XL. This is just the plain black one that came out first in the United States. Holding them side by side. Now these are definitely the same size unit and everything, but just at first glance, this feels smaller somehow. They're both very, very light, and that is the appeal of the 2DS XL, at least to me. Now I love the 3DS XL, and I don't mind the 3D at all. I actually really like it, but it does feel quite top heavy. Now because they took out the 3D components, 
these are not as top heavy and they feel a lot easier to hold in the hand. So look at those internal buttons. I really do like that they went with black on the inside. Everything feels really nice. Everything has that Nintendo clicky feel to it. Here we've got the start and select buttons. And thankfully, this time, my home button is very easy to press. In order to press the home button on my first one, I kind of have to really jab it in. So pointing out right here on the inside, we've got the camera and it has been relocated from the top. So when you close it, you can see it sticks out a little bit. Now I feel that the screen on the 2DS XLs are more immersive because you don't have all of this stuff along the bezel here. Let's go ahead and turn this on. So not only do we have less clutter along the bezel here, you can see that this is also black. And because we don't have that 3D screen, the display is actually closer to the plastic. It feels like it's right up next to your face. So this is very, very immersive. I love this. I can't wait to pop in sun and moon and go play with this. So wrapping this video up, I took a little bit of time to play around with this. And the one way I can describe this really is just a delightful system. This is for every Pokemon fan. What I really like about this is that it's very generically Pokemon. If you look at this here, this is the new 3DS release and you can see that they are all charactered. So for example, we have my yellow Pikachu edition, which I really like, but some people may not like this color. I applied the skin to it. And if you think about it, so many things just have Pikachu all over them. And then we've got the Solgaleo and Lunala, which is really nice and black, but maybe you don't care for the way that these legendaries look on the front cover, or you don't care for these characters at all. I think the one saving grace has been the small unit, just the 3DS, because you see you've got these face plates. So if I don't like this faceplate, for example, I can just easily take it off and put something else on it. But that's not an option for the larger units or for these. So this is quite cool. Thank you, Nintendo. So I give it a thumbs up and definitely if you're a Pokemon fan, get one of these. If you'd like to know more about the 2DS XL, I made a full review. I will link it right here and also in the description. So this has been Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this and if you're going to go and run out and grab one because it looks like a limited edition and you may not be able to get them always. So I hope you like this unboxing. Have a good night, you guys. Bye! And don't forget to check out youtube.com unboxed to check out all the other unboxing videos.